Today is another nice weather day in you. <laughs> today is another nice weather day in Chengdu, China. The sky is clear, and today I decide to eat at a traditional noodle restaurant called Yangbo Yin Chuan Tong Zha Yang Mian. I know you can't remember the name, and also you're gonna butcher the pronunciation. And this restaurant has a Michelin bib gourmet status. This restaurant has been there for a really long time, and a lot of people know it. It's got really good special type of noodle. Basically, it's like they have all different kind of traditional Sichuan dishes, and they kind of condense those dishes into a topping, and they mix it with noodles, hence producing their own unique type of noodles. And also, their noodle is something people talk about, so I decided to give it a try today. So back to the name, <coughs> Yang Boying is this guy's name. Traditional zhajiangmian is traditional zhajiang noodle. Zhajiang is mixed sauce, so it's traditional mixed sauce noodle by this guy's last name is Yang. <laughs> This is the classic Su Jiao Zha Jiang vegan chili. Well, why is that called vegan? I actually did some research because in the past, when the living condition wasn't that good, there was no meat in it. It's just basically like the chili oil with the noodle, hence vegan chili. But there is still a scoop of lard in it, so you still have the animal product factor in it. I don't know if that's considered vegetarian, but I guess by the Chinese standard, as long as you don't see the physical meat pieces, it's considered vegetarian. All right, I can't wait. Mm. Mm. The noodle is really good. It has like strength to it. I don't know if this noodle is made in house, but it's a lot better than the average noodle shop that you have, like machine made noodle. I mean, this is probably also machine made, but because it's thicker, it just has more strength and a little bit like toothsome. I mean, it's not like al dente, like the Italian pasta. In the Chinese context, you have to cook everything like completely cooked, but it still has like the firmness to it. You're gonna have a little bit like teethy resistance. Very aromatic. Even just like the flavor from the meat itself is really potent. So you have like the meaty flavor, and a little bit chili oil, a little bit soy sauce. This is not like particularly strong. There isn't like a whole lot of garlic in it or anything like that. It's purely the aromatic chili oil with the meaty meat sauce. So this is more like a savory, salty, a little spicy profile. Next up, we have this bowl called Shuang Cui, double crisp. The crisp here refers to this topping here. So like these are both gizzards, different parts of gizzard. This is the frontal part of the gizzard, and this is the middle part of the gizzard. So I guess you can call it like chicken gizzard two ways or chicken gizzard two parts because they're really crispy when you fry them in oil. And this entire thing as well, there's a lot of topping, which is nice. You can see a lot of those green chili, some scallion, a whole lot of citron peppercorn and some red chili as well. Oh, like it's very aromatic, soak in this red broth. Oh, you had a whole lot of flavor in this one. If you ever had this dish, which is flash fried double crisp, this basically tastes exactly like that. And in fact, a lot of dishes here, they're basically like classic Sichuan dishes that condense into a bowl of noodle because they have different toppings, right? As you can see there in their kitchen, they have all these bowls of topping. So they just like basically cook the noodle and they add the topping. Again, the noodle is firm and has that strength to it. It's really good noodle. This is not as thick as the other one, but you can still taste the texture of it. You have a lot of like this fragrant chili oil, maybe a little bit doubanjiang, which is like in a classic Sichuan cuisine context, and a little flavor from different types of chili. The flavor is simple but intense, and these are the different crisp. Well, it's crispy, right? Oh, this part, the top of chicken gizzard is even more crispy. Pretty good. Green chili, ginger, well, this is not to be eaten, and some citron peppercorn. Mm. It's really flavorful. But you gotta be careful with this type of noodle because there's a lot of broth oil in it. When you mix it a little too intensely, this thing will tend to splash everywhere. But that's kind of the experience of eating Chengdu noodle. Next one, we have this bowl of Gan Lan Rou Si. Lan is a cooking technique, basically braising with small heat, open lid, until all the water evaporates, you get all the oil out, hence the aroma. This is a very traditional old school Sichuan dish. In fact, it's so old school that you don't really see this dish that often in other restaurants anymore. So I am naturally glad to see this dish being represented here. And uh, this one again uses 
the same noodle as the first one. I think all these like we call this kanban, right? So like dry mix. All this dry mix noodle use the flatter noodle, almost like linguine in shape. I can't believe this is just one liang, so like 50 gram. This one looks almost like double the size than the other one liang noodle that I had before. And the topping is kind of crazy. Like there's a lot of topping. Let me tell you, usually for this price point, you're not gonna get that much meat, but. Uh, You really get a hint of smoky flavor from the chili. Not only in this one, but in all the toppings with chili. For example, the double crisp before also has that smoky flavor. And sometimes the smoked chili is so strong that you almost want to cough a little bit. The noodle again has a very nice firm texture and the flavor is fully attached. So fragrant, so aromatic. And this one, again, it's not a complex flavor. It's basically just like the flavor from the meat sauce itself with a hint of smoked chili, maybe with a hint of doubanjiao. But that's it. Simple, but really good. And that's the meat slices. Mm. This one is a little fatty piece, but most of them are pretty lean. Like the oil has been completely driven out and almost a little crispy. And wow, that's really good. Firm, slightly crispy, has the nice texture, very flavorful. And also because there's a lot of oil, a lot of meat, that's how you get the flavor, the fragrance, the aroma. Buenísimo. Next up, we have double cooked pork. This is also a classic Sichuan dish. Double cooked pork belly with uh, a little bit of a doubanjiang, depending on the recipe, and tianmianjiang, which is sweet noodle sauce, and uh, suanmiao, which is, there's a lot of topping here. Let's have some double cooked pork dry mix noodle. No, this one is just real simple. Basically the flavor from double cooked pork, but in a noodle, that's it. But this one doesn't have a very thick sauce base compared to the other one. I don't know if it's appropriate to say this, but compared to the other noodles, this one almost feel refreshing. It's hard to say refreshing for this type of noodle, but uh, comparably speaking, like this fragrance, it's uh, just a bit more mild, more subtle, but you still have it full on. Let's try the pork. Mm. Not that much to say. Tender and fatty, and um, I taste Sichuan peppercorn. They don't use a lot, but you just have a hint of that numbing, almost like floral, fresh fragrance. And also, because it uses this suan miao, right, in the double cooked pork, which is a staple, now it is the season, so you really have that more potent fragrance. I guess that's one of the reasons I say this is almost a little refreshing, because it comes from this. Really good. With all that heavy noodle, let's have some soup. We call it mian tang, basically noodle soup. That is just the water that's used to cook the noodle. You don't really have much flavor for this one. Basically like just water, but with a hint of um, the noodle, flour, whatever flavor in there, piping hot. And there is a wisdom in Chengdu noodle eating, we call it Yuan Tang Hua Yuan Shi, which is you use the original soup to solve the food. What it means is that you eat the noodle, then you drink the soup that's used to cook the noodle, and that completes the package. So that's something you have to do. Which I think is pretty nice because a lot of noodle here is heavy, as you can see, right? Like heavy sauce, heavy chili, heavy oil, everything. And this one with just like a pure, simple hot soup just to flush it down. Next up, we have a hidden menu. This is called Wula Cui Shao. Let's mix this first. Burn chili, crispy topping. But that's kind of the translation here. And just look at this, burn chili. This one, I think it's even more potent than all the other ones that we had before. So Hula is also a classic Sichuanese flavor profile. It is chili, but you have to fry it so much that it almost burn a little bit, hence Hu la, hu is burn, la is spicy, so like burn spicy. It's almost like the preparation of uh, dao kou la jiao, which is like you're uh, chopping the chilies when it's just fried, just to produce the maximum fragrance. And uh, you also have the crispy topping. In this case, it's pork floss. So pork floss with spicy chili and the same noodle. It's so much chili here. I'm a little apprehensive, but let's do it. This one is kind of spicy, spicy and numbing, 
good amount of citron peppercorn. This hula profile, burnt chili. Oh, this one is so strong. This spicy, almost smoky type of flavor lingering in your mouth. You know what? I think this one is cooked to the Italian style or dente. So like, that's why it gets the strength. At the very center of the noodle, you have a little bit of white dots here. <laughs> I guess that's one of the most Italian thing I find in this noodle. Mm. Bro, this thing is spicy, all right. It's not for everyone, let me tell you this. But it is delicious. And if you want to challenge yourself with a little bit spicy, and if you want to get a feel for this smoked chili flavor, this is the one to try. And also, that's why you really need the noodle soup. This thing is spicy level 9,000. They should have one of these in New York City as spicy challenge, smoky spicy. I saw render. Next up, the second of the menu item, suan la gua mian, spicy and sour noodle. As you can see, this is a different type of noodle. This is what we call gua mian. A lot of people don't really like this type of noodles, but you know what? Hey, each noodle has their own place in certain things, and this is the noodle for that. As you can see, this noodle is pretty thin, right? Slightly spicy, slightly sour, and we have this so here, right? Wan dou jian or wan dou dian, that's basically the top of pea shoots. Classic. Usually, Chengdu people eat it blanch like this. And uh, oh, some tomatoes here as well, some scallion. Okay, let's have this suan la mian. Spicy sour. Mm. It's really a fusion of sour and spicy, and also a little bit of the burnt chili feeling as well, even a little bit numbing sensation. The flavor kind of gets more intense as it lingers in your palate. That aftertaste of smoked chili is really present. Pea shoots. The spicy, smoky flavor is so real. For a few times, I almost want to cough in front of the camera. It's just that strong. Let me try a little bit of soup. I mean, this is going to be real spicy, but... Mm. Spicy, numbing, a little sour. The sour is just like kind of like a note here. It's not the most predominant flavor. The flavor is really like kind of spicy and numbing fused, but at the same time being balanced by the sour. Maybe there is a bit of sweetness in it too because of the tomato, but like in this context, the sweet note is really here just to balance every other things. You're not gonna taste the actual sweetness. I'm pretty sure it's there. Off the menu item, unlock. Okay, moving on, we have this beautiful egg. This is called beefed up egg. So basically fried egg with pork floss and a little bit of a ikura. Oh, just look at this. I think this is almost like a one biter. You can make it like an egg taco. <laughs> egg taco. I, I don't even know where to start. Mm, delicious. The egg first cooked to perfection. You have the crispy bottom and still running yolk. Then you have a little bit caviar for the umami pop, a little bit ketchup for the sweet umami, and then the pork floss for a little bit of a savory. This is me right now. So much carb. Captain Carb is not with me today. So I have to bear all that myself. I'm always having a food coma and all those like spicy smoke and all that stuff. I hit my brain. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. But enough to say I'm really satisfied. The serotonin is real. And that is everything of this meal. And you know what? The noodle is absolutely amazing. It's so good. First, the noodle is like really good. It's cooked to perfection. Very nice texture and strength, almost in a way like the Italian pasta, right? By the way, if you are a pasta lover, you are definitely gonna love this one. This is almost like a Chinese kind of part to the Italian pasta, except there's more variety in terms of toppings and flavors and all that stuff. The flavor is strong, it's really fragrant. The smoky chili is just like top notch. My favorite is the ganlan, the smothered meat slices, is like crispy and all. Double cooked pork is also good, refreshing. My personal preference are these like thicker noodles, dry mix, or sometimes with the soupy ones, they're all good. I have visited a couple of Michelin Bib Gourmand noodle shop, and I have to say this is by far the best. I think this one has really set its distance apart from all the other similar noodle shop. This is really like in a league of its own. This one is definitely Michelin worthy, and I think in some sense, I don't know like what exactly they need to do, but I think this one has a chance for like 
even a star. You know, like there are some restaurants in Singapore, in Bangkok, they're just like really street vendor, holes on the wall type of thing, and they have a star. I think by what I have experienced so far, this noodle compared to the other ones, if those ones are Michelin Bibble Gourmand, then this one might have a chance to go for the star. We'll have to see. And with that being said, I'll continue my culinary journey in Chengdu, China. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.